Hello and welcome to Crusader 2 Charlemagne series. In this episode guys, we're going to work on creating a kingdom of Poland. We conquer all this land in here. So let's check out what do we need actually to create the kingdom of Poland. The Jure land has this county in here and this county in here as well. So we can conquer them in the meantime. Why we're we waiting to get more land. You are the independent guy, we can offer you vassalization and you will say no. And with this one we can't even offer it, okay. It will start with you, let's check you out. You have few allies. Oh, you're allied with Ch High Chief of Moravia. Well, that may be a problem. And you are also allied with uh, this guy. The High Chief of Bohemia. Well, let's be honest, we don't want to mess about with you. What about you? You have no allies. So let's declare the war on you for now. Okay, so declare the war. Because that was the thing that we are missing. Raise our troops. Guys are ready in here, and let's just move them around. We'll just gather on their land. we we'll go to Płock, and from Płock we'll move, move the, the other way. Okay, I have taught my young half-brother well. Voyuta is starting to act properly Polish. Cool, we got one prestige from that. That's okay, we taught our brother to be Polish. And okay, let's speed up a little bit faster so they can actually move a little bit faster for me. Let's just combine them troops and move them around. And we are here at war. Yeah, that's going to be easy. So as we take this land, we should be fine. He's actually sieging my... Oh, I hate it when it happens. Sieging in half. This 800 troops should go there. And that's all we needed. Okay, great. We scared him off and that would be enough for us. And now actually win the, win the land without losing troops. That should be fine. Okay, so we won this war in here. We got free gold from that. We will, of course, offer the peace and take it. And he became our vassal. Who is your wife? No, oh, I can ransom her. Okay, so we, got, we gather a few prisoners from this war. Okay, we can ransom this child. We need money, so yes, we will do that. You will pay for her, that's great. Let's check the intrigue again. Three more prisoners. Will you pay for your wife? You will pay ten for your wife, great. And check some more. Come on. I have this little girl in here and she's worth 26 gold. We really robbed your money from it. And that's okay, we need it. Go here and who, it, who are you? We could run some of you. He's considering an offer. And will he take you? Well, he has no interest in you, so let's release you from prison because there is no, no reason for us to keep you here either. Okay, great. Got quite a bit of gold. How much was the Kingdom of Poland? Kingdom of Poland? We can actually create it now, guys. 
think it's because we have more prestige, so it gets cheaper as the more prestige you have. Okay, so... Should we do it? 277 gold? Yes, we'll do that. Create. And yes. Okay, we are now officially a king of Poland. Look at that. Great. So we achieved our goal for this episode. I'm really proud of that. Now we have to set ourselves some more goals. Okay, we need to nominate successor, yes. Nominate my brother. Do I have children? Don't have children yet. So, okay. For now we'll nominate our brother. And now, what can we do in here? We'll get some gold from that. But in one day we'll fulfill the ambition to become King of Poland. Great! And we got a ton of prestige from that. So now we can actually pick up some other ambitions in here. So, let me think. Kind and temperate. What do I do? Probably improved stewardship doesn't sound too bad. Amass wealth. How much gold do I need? I don't know if I to get that much gold. Okay, let's improve stewardship. Well, that probably makes sense. Great. And let's go to Krakow in here. Let's see what we can build. Okay, we need money for that. But in the meantime, we can build the uh, training grounds. Yep, we can afford that easily. We'll go with it. He's building a new land. Okay, provides the more troops. Proper holding need to become the feudal republic. Okay, so we can't build anything there for now. Okay. We have few things to work on. And one of them is the law. We have to change the law and we have to go to a maximum tribal organization before we can create a kingdom. So let's go here and change it to law for now. And let's for our guys to vote on it. They should slowly get there. Okay, we have a new event in here. Okay, so we upset one of our courtiers. And now we have two options. We can go and become cruel. Or we can continue be being kind. And our character is kind already. So we'll just continue on this path for now. So continue being kind. And that's great, okay. Let's see if we can start any wars. We can start quite a few with pretty much everybody. Who are you? Okay. Oh yeah, we have all these wars in here now. Okay, so we can actually start quite a big war somewhere. Find the biggest guy we can get take on. Okay, so the guys we can take on is Bohemia, possibly. We would get quite a bit from them if we Declare the war and subjugation of Bohemia will get all this land in here. So that's quite a big land we could get. Other options are these guys in here. Declaration of the war. So it's Francia, but we would want Pomeneria from them. Or Saxony. We get quite a bit from them as well. And of course the last one in here are Lithuanians. So let me just find their leader. Declare the war and subjugation of Lithuania. And that would actually be quite a bit of land. So I think that would be the best option for us. 
check him out first and see what he can get. He has nearly no troops whatsoever. Okay, so he's weak. Has some sort of support in here, but this guy is not going to be much of the threat to us. So why don't we do that then? Declare war. Subjugation of Lithuania. Yes, send that. We'll raise our troops. I think I was better off waiting with it because it will cost me money now. Yeah, we'll go minus soon. We should be fine for a little bit. Okay, so my brother is afraid of spiders. And we can make him craven. Some fears are good, but some are... There are limits. He can be content. And he can lose Trave of Craven. Fear is the mind killer. Well... I can go either way. Because I'm not bothered, really, with my character. But I think I will go with that and we'll see if he can become brave. Check my brother. Become brave, brother. He did. Great. Okay, my troops are connected here. Just move and conquer some counties so we can actually make some money. And my wife is pregnant. That is great news because it means I will have a hair soon. Come on, let's take this land and get some money because the situation in here is getting desperate for money for us. You can see we are losing it and it's not great at all. So I'm just hoping nothing bad is going to happen to us. At the moment we're bankrupt. Okay, with that we got 4 gold. So we are on plus, finally. Conquer one more land in here. Or let's deal with them troops first, okay. We approved the low tribal organization, that is great news, guys. We need to go to medium, but we cannot do it for a few years. We'll get there eventually. How did we swap that? How did they manage to sneak past us? I, don't, I have no idea. Let's get them. And the daughter was born. Great. Okay, we have daughter. That's fine. We are winning the fight in here. So we've done that. And let's just go there and conquer this land. Okay, this war should go easy for us. One another battle. And now we just have to siege the land and get some money from it. So it shouldn't be too bad. We'll go quickly. And after that we should be really set in here and we should be the biggest powerhouse around. Our domain limit is 8. So we may actually get some land from it. We could revoke the counties of our vassals, but because we are a kind character, we're not going to do that. But it's not a really nice thing to do. Just evict your vassals that you promised to protect. I'm pretty sure that nobody would class it as kind. Okay, uh, two people got married. My courtier and my other courtier. Well, of course we're going to accept your marriage. We're a kind person. And I see nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. Go, 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 go. Get the forces. No. Okay. We're not going to fight. We're going to siege your land instead. Okay. Managing the large staff of servants in a castle is in many ways like managing a small realm. So we got one stewardship from that event. It was great means we'll get some more money and maybe a bigger domain signs as well. 
and our gold is increasing because some of our troops died. So I'm quite happy that actually we lost some troops for a change. And a few more there during the siege. All right. We got threatened in here by my vassal. I will not be blackmailed. Okay, so this faction is here. Okay, we have three vassals that will rebel against us. Well, I will not blackmail it. And they will rebel again against me as well. Let's check them out. What sort of forces can you pull on me? Not that much. Okay, now I think is the time to call our brother to assist me and to call everybody so yes help me in this war help me in this war we have to actually invite everybody it's getting dangerous in here okay easy Another fight. I'm going to siege in here. They will all reply with the yes answer, most of them. Okay. We're fighting with Lithuania, so I'm hoping that some of them will deal with their forces. They will say yes, great. Oh my god, there is so many of them. Look at that, one after another. Okay. Some of them said no, well that's fine, they will lose prestige. Look at that, how many of them joined me. So we should be quite okay in both of these wars, really. They will try to combine with me, but we don't even need that, really. As soon as we win with the Lithuania, we should be quite set in here. So we go here, guys. Come on, one more tick. And yes, we got some gold from it. Okay, we're actually making money now. Just go back there to deal with the Lithuanian forces. And that was easy fight, and quite a few, quite a bit of the war score from that. That's army of the chief of Grodno. Okay, so they're actually going to join us here. Let's stop and let's go there. Come on guys, join with me, we need to win this fight here quickly. Just be done with the war with Lithuania, because I want to deal with the revolt as soon as possible. Okay, we were winning with them as well. So my vassal had to actually took a few fights there. That's okay. You see, there was no reason to rebel there really. We can call the chief of Grodno. Alright, so our vassal died. We don't need you. Would you say yes? Of course you would. Oh, well, that's okay. We don't, we're not bothered about it at the moment. Come on. One more province from Lithuania and we're already done. Okay, great. That's all I want to know. Offer the peace with Lithuania and reinforce that. And yes, okay. What do we have left in here? There's few vassals fighting with us, okay. Just go there, deal with the forces they have here. And we also have this land that is too big for us. 
Oh no, sorry, the, you can press the Jour claims. Well, of course, you can press the Jour claim for this hour by the Jour anyway. After we win this war, so it's fine. The start of the Viking Age. So now the Vikings actually can sit in the boats and attack us. But that's going to cause some problem, considering that we have a, quite a bit of a coast now. And they can travel through the rivers as well. So come on guys, quickly. Let's win this province in here. We are 97. Well, we're actually taking quite a bit of land from them. If we go here, we should be fine now. After winning this fight, we got a war score of 100. So we offer the peace, reinforce it. And we got a few of them imprisoned. Okay. I think what we can do, we can check our prisoners. And we can actually release whoever we can release. So yeah, we can make some gold from them. Because why not? We are not nasty person to keep them in prison forever. Okay. Okay guys, I think it's the wrapping point of this episode that we are on again. Our land is actually quite big. I know the borders are not pretty, but we'll work on that. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And remember, this series is Monday to Friday, so please come back tomorrow for another episode. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.